more than two-thirds of 705 MEPs have paid part-time jobs, from which they earn a total of more than 8.6 million euros a year. New research published by Transparency International assessed the finances of MEPs working second jobs. Topping the list is a Lithuanian MP who declared €3 million Euros per year working for a real estate company. He is followed by a French and then a Hungarian politician, then by the president of the European People's Party, Manfred Weber. Published on the European Parliament website. On it is perfectly legal to have a side job as long as we are transparent about it. But obviously, when we look at the contents of the declarations uh, that the MEPs have uh, filled in, we do see some activities that really raise some concerns. Activities, for example, uh, involving a multinational company while they themselves were in charge of drafting legislation that might affect that company. Transparency is not accusing any MEPs of breaking the rules, but the research underscores that some MEPs are getting paid by companies in the same sector as a lot of their parliamentary activity. Among those involved, Polish Marek Belka told Euronews that his supervisory board meetings do not violate his obligations as an MEP. Transparency says potential conflicts of interest must be investigated, especially given the influence scandals that have taken place in Brussels in the past. As we see today uh, in the European elections, one of the key themes is about foreign interference. And we know that, theoretically, according to the rules today, you are perfectly allowed to receive money maybe from a third country government or have an activity as long as you are transparent about it. And so what we advocate is a banning of these side activities. Stricter rules in European Parliament mean MEPs are now required to publish more detailed information about their finances.